Lisinopril is one of the medication classified as AC inhibitor. It is available as tablet as well as oral solution. This medication can be used to treat uncomplicated essential hypertension. In such conditions, lisinopril can be given initially at a dose of 10 mg per day. However, the dose may be slowly escalated based on controlling of blood pressure. In a few people, the dose may also be reduced to 5 mg in presence of diuretics. Lisinopril can also be used in treating cardiovascular complications. It can be used as an adjuvant along with diuretics after acute myocardial infarction or to treat heart failure. However, in such conditions, this medication can be started at a low dose such as 5 mg along with diuretics. But before starting the lisinopril, you should know important facts like what is its effect on lowering of blood pressure, how extent it can produce hypotension, and what are the other factors that can increase the hypotensive effect of this medication. How lisinopril is linked with swelling and what are the complications, what is the effect of this medication on your kidneys, and how it affects your potassium levels, all these are very essential to know while using this medication. Therefore, this video covers all important facts of lisinopril. First one is the hypotension. Lisinopril can reduce your blood pressure. This is the essential action that is required to treat hypertension. However, this may also lead to another condition, hypotension. This is the lowering of blood pressure to a significantly low levels leading to few symptoms like lightheadedness, dizziness and fatigue. How extent you can see hypotension with use of lisinopril depends on many of the other factors. What are the other medications you are going to take? Any existing cardiovascular or cerebral conditions may also affect hypotension. In a few people, lisinopril can produce significant hypotension where the systolic blood pressure may be reduced less than 100 mm of mercury. However, such potential hypotension may not be observed in all the people and it is mostly enhanced by coexisting risk factors. One of them is the dual blockade of renin-angiotensin system. Lisinopril is a AC inhibitor. When it is taken with other medications like ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers, it can produce significant inhibition on renin-angiotensin system. Sartans like losartan, valsartan, telmisartan are classified as ARBs. When they are combined with lisinopril, they can produce significant inhibition of renin-angiotensin system that may significantly affect function of your kidneys. This combination can produce significant hypotension. Dual blockade of renin-angiotensin system can also elevate your potassium levels. Therefore, this combination is not recommended for controlling hypertension. On the other hand, lisinopril can be combined with another group of medications, diuretics. Diuretics are generally combined with lisinopril to produce a significant control on your blood pressure. Generally, hydrochlorothiazide is combined with lisinopril to control hypertension. This combination can also be used in the treatment of heart failure and acute myocardial infarction. However, when you are combining the diuretics along with lisinopril, the diuretic should be used at low dose. Using a high dose of diuretics along with lisinopril can produce significant hypotension. That's why whenever lisinopril is going to be initiated, initially the diuretic should be stopped at least for 3 days. In a few people, diuretics may not be stopped due to other reasons. In such conditions, lisinopril should be used at a lower dose of 5 mg. Using a higher dose of lisinopril or diuretic combination may induce significant hypotension. And this hypotensive effect can be observed for the first two weeks of the treatment. Therefore, when you are combining lisinopril along with diuretics, the drop in the blood pressure should be closely monitored for at least two weeks of the treatment. The hypotension produced by lisinopril can also be increased in the conditions like oliguria. It is a condition of low urinary output that reduces the renal functionality 
in such conditions the hypotensive effect may be enhanced due to the decreased excretion of lisinopril from the body in people with azotemia increased nitrogen waste in the urine may also elevate hypotensive conditions therefore if you are having low urinary output or azotemia lisinopril should be carefully used as it can produce significant hypotension the risk of hypotension with lisinopril can also be increased with coexisting conditions in people with ischemic heart disease or cerebrovascular disease the risk of hypotension may be elevated with use of lisinopril therefore in people with any recent stroke or cardiac ischemia lisinopril should be carefully used and a close monitoring for blood pressure should be done while using this medication when you are using lisinopril check for body volume in people with hyponatremia loss of sodium from the body may increase significant hypotension with use of lisinopril when the sodium is lost from the body it also increase the loss of water from the body leading to low body volume this can reduce your blood pressure and it can add to the action of lisinopril similarly in the people with hypovolemia low body volume lisinopril can produce significant hypotension similarly any dietary restrictions should be considered while using lisinopril if you are under salt depletion the effect of lisinopril may be enhanced and it may produce significant hypotension therefore while you are taking lisinopril all these factors should be considered and if you observe any significant hypotension with use of lisinopril even under normal doses you have to check for each factor that may increase this hypotensive effect if you are having low body volume or salt depletion they should be initially corrected before starting the therapy with lisinopril angioedema this is a common with many ac inhibitors along with lisinopril this medication can produce a condition called angioedema this is the swelling of the tissues under the skin due to increased capillary permeability and vasodilation since lisinopril is a vasodilator it can increase the tissue leakage leading to angioedema however the action of lisinopril on angioedema is connected with one of the mediator bradykinin lisinopril can increase the bradykinin levels which increases the capillary permeability leading to swelling and angioedema angioedema involves the swelling of tissues under the skin it may affect the face and lips leading to unexpected swelling it may also affect your tongue as well as larynx which may produce trouble swallowing as well as trouble breathing this may produce an obstruction in the air pathway leading to difficulty breathing therefore if you observe any unexpected swelling with use of lisinopril immediately this drug should be discontinued even though rare lisinopril can also produce intestinal angioedema this is the swelling produced in the intestine leading to development of few symptoms like abdominal pain either with or without nausea and vomiting even though rare it produces severe abdominal discomfort and abdominal distension therefore after use of lisinopril if you observe any swelling in your abdomen along with severe abdominal pain you may discontinue this medication and it may be reported with your doctor renal function lisinopril can affect the function of your kidneys since it is acting on the renin angiotensin system use of lisinopril can affect how your kidneys are functioning in a few people this medication can produce a condition called acute renal failure however this effect can be observed in people with any pre-existing renal disorders or decreased blood flow to the renal system therefore in people with renal artery stenosis lisinopril can induce acute renal failure renal artery stenosis is the narrowing of blood vessels that are supplying to the kidneys since lisinopril is a vasodilator it can reduce the blood pressure as well as it can reduce the perfusion pressure with this renal blood flow is also reduced and the filtering capacity of kidneys is also reduced therefore lisinopril can develop acute renal failure in people with uh, renal artery stenosis that's why while using lisinopril try to monitor your renal functionality regularly after few months of the treatment potassium levels lisinopril can affect your potassium levels in the body 
since it is going to affect the renal functionality it can elevate potassium levels in the body leading to hyperkalemia this effect of lisinopril can be enhanced when you are taking this medication along with a few other medications that again increase potassium levels in the body for example if you are taking potassium sparing diuretics like amyloride spironolactone and tramterine they can increase the potassium levels with use of lisinopril similarly if you are taking potassium supplements hyperkalemia may be pronounced therefore while you are taking lisinopril for longer periods try to monitor your potassium levels and try to avoid potassium rich foods while taking this medication effect on blood counts lisinopril can affect your blood counts and it can produce one of the condition a granulocytosis it is one of the hematological disorder that may be associated with lisinopril that results in the low counts of wbc and this a granulocytosis can lead to neutropenia decreased neutrophil count with the development of neutropenia people may have increased risk of infections however this adverse effect is rare and it can be restored after stopping of this medication next is a dry cough this is again one of the common adverse effect of ac inhibitors along with lisinopril use of lisinopril may develop dry cough which may be observed within first few weeks of the treatment the induction of dry cough is not directly related with vasodilatory effects however lisinopril can increase the bradykinin levels in the body bradykinin can produce an irritant response leading to development of dry cough with use of lisinopril this dry cough can be observed within first few months of the treatment with this medication however if you observe persistent dry cough with use of lisinopril this medication may be discontinued jaundice even though rare lisinopril can produce cholestatic jaundice this is also called as obstructive jaundice where the transport of bile from liver to small intestine is blocked leading to increased bilirubin levels in the body this may result in yellowing of skin and eyes and elevation in the liver enzymes can also be observed it is a rare condition produced by lisinopril so when you are using lisinopril under normal doses the cholestatic jaundice may not be developed however if you have any pre existing liver disorders or any risk factors for developing jaundice or previous history this condition may be elevated with use of lisinopril therefore if you observe any yellowing of your skin or eyes or any other jaundice like symptoms you may discontinue this medication so these are the various facts that you should know before using this medication lisinopril can produce hypotension angioedema and hyperkalemia however these effects may be more pronounced with any coexisting risk factors and other medications that are simultaneously taken few of the side effects like jaundice intestinal angioedema are very rare but they may be elevated in a few people with coexisting risk factors so that's all about the different side effects of lisinopril i hope this video is useful to you if you really like this video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thanks for watching see you in the next video